I'm good, Mark. How are you? Good. Thank you for sitting down with me. Now yeah. you are, after spending three years as president of Seeds Canada, you have passed that torch over. Correct. Congratulations. Thank you. And we are going to have some champagne. A little bubbly. This is real French champagne. It's not, you know, sparkling wine. Right. It's the real, the, the good real stuff. stuff. Thank you, Mark. For well, it's real for the purposes of this interview. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm going to crack this. And we hope that nothing unexpected happens and it goes all over the place. <laughs> because that can sometimes happen. Okay, and yes, this is from uh, Italy, actually. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, we're going to uh, crack it. Ooh, but it didn't explode. All right, let's pour it back. But yeah, cheers. Cheers, Mark. Cheers. To three years. Yep. What's been your uh, favorite memory of the last three years? My favorite memory? Well, I mean, there's so many, mm -hmm. really. Um, I think... The big one would be the first in-person meeting in Winnipeg. Mm -hmm. um, lots of excitement of members getting back together. It was the first time our board had actually met in person since uh, the amalgamation in 2021. So yeah, that's I think that's a big one. And you know, this meeting as well, I mean, there was a real buzz in the halls, um, lots of conversation going on. So good memories there too. What would you say your biggest success has been as president? Well, I mean, no president gets there without the help of staff and members and the rest of the board, of course. Um, I'd like to think, you know, every president, I think, sets certain goals for their presidency. For me, it was more a, um, a matter of trying to make sure Seats Canada got off on the right foot, I guess, and that members could see why we went through the amalgamation. So that, um, that was really my, my, really my goal when I was president was to make sure we got headed in the right direction. What was the one thing that maybe you didn't accomplish or that maybe wasn't as successful as you hoped it would be? That one thing that, hey, if I could start my three-year term over again, which we're not going to make you do, <laughs> but if you could, you'd be like, yeah, you know, that's the one thing mm -hmm. that I would, I would love to take another kick at the can at. Sure. I think, I don't, I haven't really viewed it that way, I guess. So certainly there's things I suppose we maybe could have done a slightly different direction on, but it's always been a matter of each step recheck, another step recheck. So I once described, and I've described a few things like this, it's like driving in Toronto, you take it one block at a time, because if you think about the whole journey around the city, it gets overwhelming. So, so again, for me, it's been a matter of, um, of constantly making sure we're headed in the right direction, and that comes from listening to members and, and um, industry. So. What would you say has been the biggest success that Seeds Canada has had as an organization? So I think, you know, if you think of how we started, um, again, we had to do two votes. We had to redirect our business plan um, back in 2020, actually. And then we went into COVID. Well, we were in COVID at the time. So new staff, new members. So I think... Um, hitting the ground, sort of running like we did. We had the Seed Summit, um, which, you know, we had 700 people register for that. So I think that that really speaks to the desire of the industry to keep moving forward. And the fact that we were able to do it without meeting um, until we did is a real success story for us. ISSB was a big topic. Trish Jordan presented her report Seas Canada obviously is advocating for this idea. Why do, you, why do you feel it's the ISSB idea specifically is the right thing for this industry? So I think, um, and we heard from several people this week on how advisory bodies really do help move the industry forward to have that advisory group for the government to interact with. If we think of, do we want to wait 100 years again to you know make big changes? And how do we make that constant progression on advancement for the industry. And I think an advisory body really helps with that link with the government and in making those changes um, in a more, um, a quicker or quicker fashion, but more sh short term, I guess I would say. Theme for this meeting this year was the future of seed is here. Are we ready? Are we ready? So it was interesting, the last presenter, uh, Nancy Stout from, um, I think she did a great job of outlining, are we ready? So she said, yes, we've had the recipe. And I would agree, you know, we heard from other presenters on, on we're lagging behind, 
we need to get moving. So now we're at the point, I think, of action. So we are ready to be ready, I would say, maybe, um, but we need to move forward and, and make sure we are having actions on innovative ideas, et cetera, so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It'll be interesting to see where we go from here, mm -hmm. SRM sort of coming to an end, mm -hmm. uh, not in the near future, but you know, next year or else the year after. So. Right. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. But, yeah. Well, no, thanks, Ellen, for your time. Thanks, Mark. Congrats again on three years. Mm -hmm. It's 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 been an experience, I would say that. It's been great, and I've enjoyed it for sure. Thanks again. Yep, thanks. And cheers. Cheers, cheers for three years. Thank you. Uh -huh.